Victor Green was a postal worker from Harlem, New York. In 1936, Green created and published the first Negro Motorist Green Book, which listed businesses where black customers were welcome. It's a very rare story. Not a lot of people know about it. So it's great that the Smithsonian Channel were bringing this back to life and kind of uncovering the story with more um, rare home movie footage. Um, we're interlacing it with stories about business tycoons and black women entrepreneurship, and then also the really personal stories of people and their interaction with the Green Book itself. So it's a very, very interesting story itself, and we're hoping that the film is going to bring it to life for a whole new audience. An audience can learn how a uh, community took a um, dehumanizing situation and, and humanized it to the best level they could during the time period in which they live. We're dealing with some of those same issues in terms of, 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 of travel and who you are and where you can stop. There are no more, people might argue, no more sundown communities, but there are still some sundown issues that people have to deal with in many communities. At Comcast NBC Universal, diversity and inclusion is a critical component of what we do. It allows us to partner with great organizations like the Amistad to, with the Greater Hartford community to bring that content and programming that enriches the communities we both serve. Tonight's screening is great for the Hartford community and for the Amistad Center because it's a chance to remind folks of the kinds of collection material we have in our building and that we are able to show them every single day.